I'm here with Trey today. We have picked up. What? This is our trailer dolly. And this is going to allow me to move around like my maple syrup trailer um, and my log splitter during the season without actually having to hitch it to anything. This is a 600 pound Performax trailer dolly. Um, so it'll easily move things like that. And we got it at Menards because it has 12 inch tires. And in general, the wheels and um, things like that at Harbor Freight can give you trouble. So um, the wheels at Harbor Freight were 10 inch and going through the terrain of the yard, I figured the um, bigger size would be a little more helpful to us. Um, plus, you've got the two-year warranty automatic on it instead of a year with Harbor Freight. And sometimes it's 90 days. So, let me help you with that, buddy. So, we'll show you how it's going to build. Trey here is our building helper. And I have to help him now. So, here we're unboxing it. Um, we used the scissors, which is a little safer. Trey carries a pocket knife for cutting bales open. But he was having a little difficulty with those straps. So we're going to unbox this. And do they come already aired? Yeah. Oh, they do come already aired. A lot, a lot of these things uh, don't come pre-aired. When we bought our yard cart um, and our hose carts, they did not come. Thank you, Bethy with air in the tire, so. Now watch that knife, you don't want to poke a hole in the tire, buddy. Okay. So we built this right in our kitchen. It's uh, like 18 degrees outside. It's supposed to be warming up into the 30s today, but I'd rather build this in the heat of our home. It took maybe 15 minutes um, with the help of Trey here and an almost three-year-old little girl. Yes, definitely easier with two people because somebody can hold the frame while somebody else um, gets the nuts and bolts in. So at first we just assembled it without tightening down the nuts and, and bolts. those parts right there are very hard to... That's in. right. They didn't use regular cotter pins, which makes it nice, so if you need to take these off, it's a little um, fast pull in and out, but it takes a lot of finger strength to get this open. So you can use a, yeah. a screwdriver to pry it open, but then it can damage your paint. So just kind of pull up with it with one hand and use your palm of your hand to push that whole part in. Um, so we're gonna... We've got two more bolts that we have to tighten up on this because we needed a soccer wrench that's outside so we're gonna go tighten those up and we'll show you Trey using it. It's 